where are we? Oh. Was I crouching like the whole time? Welcome to the Vavilov Complex, named after the great Soviet botanist. The Vavilov Complex is a leading scientific institution dedicated to the study of... Well, oh, that's cool. I can just hold down the button and do a search. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. Yeah, uh, I can't open the door yet. I'll be right with you. Oh, okay, I don't think I can... I think I just gotta jump without pushing forward. Right? There we go. Oh, this looks creepy. Oh, <laughs> it looks so creepy. Oh, cool. So I can pick stuff up that way. Is there anything down here? It doesn't look to be. Alright, so I need that to open that door. What is that? This is an emergency log entry on a crew member named Katerina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident in the Babylon complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in... Hey, who's there? They found me. Stay away! I've got a grenade! Hey, lady! Sergeant Major Ibrahimov, I'm human. You need to come with us. It's dangerous here. Get away from me, you monster! Oh, listen to me! Huh. Okay, so like audio logs, that's what hey, those are. You there! All the innocent... I'm coming. Just turn the handle and open the door! Okay, um, well that was something. So now, now I gotta worry about whatever took that guy. <laughs> whatever that was. And the machines rose from... Okay. Press the dog. Oh, I give you some advice. I'm kind of busy. Well, at this rate, I won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Okay. Yep, I've already kind of done that. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment? It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. I do like that I don't have to open every single drawer. I can just kind of wave my hand past things and just open it. That's a nice little touch.
All right. Is that everything in here? I think that's everything in here. All right, we gotta play this audio thing. Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and- You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, son. Ooh, Zena! Uh, we aren't allowed to let you through, Comrade- Uh, Ooh, Granny Zena? Not without authorization. Really? I was always allowed in here before, and now I'm not. Listen here, either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later, and somebody else will be cooling his heels in here. What you say? <clears throat> Go ahead. That's what I thought. Dismissed. Okay, so there's robots down there, but I feel like we can go into some of these rooms, right? Yeah. Let's Sneak just... up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Oh, I, it's button timing. Sorry. That was my bad. I screwed that up. I didn't know I was supposed to like mash the button. That that was that was all me. Oh, he took his face off. Nothing over there. Hey, glove. My name is Charles, comrade major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. What is that? That is creepy. There's nothing really over here, is there? I don't know if I was supposed to come over here, but I did. Oh! I didn't see you! I didn't see you! So you're telling me a handful of traders right. somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. supposed to do I there's no tutorial okay that's weird you gotta kind of just do it till it opens <laughs> okay so we got some uh, robots down here Oh, there's two! Oh, come on. Alright. 
I gotta go through there, but... Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I going to do that? Your glove can be equipped with an <laughs> EMP-generated shock module. A capsule containing the neuropolymer required to install the shock module should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay, I'll deal with it. Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <sighs> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps! I'm on it. Get me them! What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. You don't need one. Yeah. <clears throat> so what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You Wh got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. How did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get Whoa! Out. That one's got Larissa. lasers! Oh my god, it is hard to control. Oh! Huh. Ooh. Terminated. Charles, where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. It's kind of hard to track them. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Wait. Yeah, right. Oh, I see in what I gotta words, do. You're basically useless. Oh my god, this is awful. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on. I am so bad at this. Okay, wait. Can I try it again? Oh, that took a long time. It worked. <laughs> oh. A lullaby? I don't like this. Yeah. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. That thing? What the fuck? Fuck me! Oh, what a stun! I can't get enough jumps. Let me tie you to 
to the death, baby. No need to fight back, sugar. Oh, Don't let her bind your arms. Can't you see I'm trying? Open the suggestions. Bring me to her sensor manipulator, quick. How titillating. Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute. Oh, I love tough guys. I'm on fire. Closer. I can't reach her. I'm trying. I'm trying. She's one strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything for my master? What can I do for you? What? <laughs> what was that? More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Okay. You were fortunate enough to acquire about 50 grams of neuropolymer. I suggest exchanging this dose with lovely Nora for a new skill. You don't mind, do you? No. Okay. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red hot pocket rockets. And believe <laughs> me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Okay. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll service you however you want. Got a so I can do so much more. A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. How do I do it? How, cool. how do I do this the powerful thing? Powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies. Oh, cool! Bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. Oh my Why should God. I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out, then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. <laughs> that machine is very forward. Saving data. Oh, that saves the game. Okay, cool. Can I go through here? Yeah, do I want to? I guess so. I don't know if I should be playing all the audio logs. It kind of only plays through my controller, so I have to pick my controller up so you can hear it and it's kind of a pain in the ass great the goddamn elevators are out what am i supposed to do jump Stairs. down they've no power if you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I could follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. So in here? Ugh. Supply room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess, you can't open this lock, can you, Charles? Unfortunately not. But I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. That it should would be, be great. in a nearby workspace. You're finally starting to come in handy.
there's a robot in there. Okay, so we can sneak up this time. I know what to do. But take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. Okay. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. How do we... How do we throw something? Do we know how to throw something yet? Pick up an item. What item? Oh! I'm stupid. Alright, well... That's a huge item. Can I pick up something smaller? Does it have to be this? It won't fit through there. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I did! More subtlety from a professional such as yourself. Sometimes you just need to go in guns blazing. This was one of those. Oh. <clears throat> I don't know where he went! Oh no! I dropped down. That's okay. That's fine. Is it gonna come down? It is. Well it died. It died. Ow! I I thought I I thought I was looking over the other end. I thought I had gone around it. Apparently I did not. That's a, that's a my bad. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It was just a. It was just a test. I hear it. Oh, come on. Right? And it's looking over there. Yeah, now I gotta run it, right? See, it just it just needed some time to figure it out. Open that one. Do I have to look at it at a specific? There it goes. Aha! You found the key. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. Downstairs. Can I just go through this door? Oh, it's not a door. Okay. 
Hey, Chuck. Charles. Whatever. What will happen if word gets out about this? The Soviet Union's reputation will suffer. Soviet robots are considered to be perfectly safe and reliable all over the world. They are? Of course they are. Of That's course why they are. Petrov's treason struck at the very heart of the motherland. He quite literally stabbed his own country in the back. He wants the entire world to stop using our robots. That son of a bitch. I gotta avoid that uh, camera thing. I think if I just stay out of its light, I should be fine, right? Is there something down there that I need? But that means there's a door. saw me, but maybe it won't send robots out to get me. <laughs> How much time and effort is it going to take to fix this damn place? I agree. It's a troubling sight. Regardless, robots will be able to repair the damage quite quickly. I seriously... Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. Who doesn't like cookies? Charles doesn't like cookies, we should get him off our hand. Oh my gosh. This is a passive security system with a laser relay. Okay, unlock the passive security relay functionality by putting all the magnetic fluxes in the correct order. Okay. Okay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was gonna stand here. The decoder. There's gotta be something on here, right? No. What is the mail? Is one of them... Is two of them... It looks like I have two... Two things in mail. Oh, because it's employees in mail. Okay, I I, I I read that wrong. Try to match the colors of the laser beams with the colors of the lights. That should help. Okay, how do I how do I do that? What changes it? Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah, the power's on. Let's head All back. All right. That was relatively simple. Which means it's probably going to be harder later. All right. Now, uh, now we're So that way, or that way. No. I guess it doesn't matter which, which one, one, right? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. <laughs> I was already in the one on the left. Okay. Uh, now what? Oh, did I press the button? Ride the elevator back. It won't. Do I have to go on that one? How do I, how do I go back? Yeah? Did I get real close to it? There we go. That's dumb. It should, it shouldn't matter how close or far I am from the button. Can I just go down this way? I just keep going down. Okay, look, it looks like I gotta get there. Can I just get down through there? I'm gonna just go down a floor.
If you recall, the door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue. Combat shock. Okay. Yeah, I figured out the shock by accident when I was trying to figure out the stupid buttons. Alright, there's one there. See, I just, like, lose track of them too easily. sees me. There it goes. If they go behind me real quickly, I, I lose track of them pretty quickly. Did I suck up all the things out of this guy? I did not. There we go. Search for Victor. I gotta go that way, but no resistance and safety. Probably the key aspects of our machines that concern ordinary people. Lumberjacks, factory workers, builders. I thought there was a door over here. I think it was just this thing. The There's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. Yeah? We just get in it? No? Oh! Okay, how... Uh, how do we, uh... How do we get in here without dying? Come over on this side. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. So peaceful. <clears throat> wow. How long can we hold our breath? Forever? I supposed to restart the line there should be a control panel nearby <laughs> there's the control panel and of course it's locked you guys just love these things don't you but this is a new one yeah a combination lock uh, it'd take me a year to guess the combo look around maybe someone has the code who the schematic oh need to find the schematic this guy uh what was that Go without a schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me. He's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why have we frozen just like everything here? They won't go. Nope. Won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neuropolymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. Uh let's just do that one. The schematic, the one I need to move the cars. Where is it? The station master has it. He didn't make it. He wasn't as fast as me. He died. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. 
Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel? He died, and everything froze right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. Research and development complex. Uh, station master. This technological marvel is currently. That's that one. Gotta find the station master. I just wish I knew where he is. The USSR is planning to Maybe I should have said thank you. Well, Holy I mean, he's, shit, he's a talking dead. corpse. What did you say, comrade major? You know, I've fought in the whole war from beginning to end. I've seen some shit. But talking corpses, that's a new one. How the fuck is this even possible? It's a byproduct of lingering neuropolymer memory activity. Everyone killed here was polymerized. Their brains haven't decomposed yet. So they remain connected with the neuropolymer. Fading data. How do I... How do I switch weapons? Oh. That one. Okay, well, let's do it. I need to find uh, a schematic. Up this way, maybe? We gotta find a body. Nothing on that guy. Alright, where is the station master? You're not the station master, and you are not the station master. Oh, up here. There it is. I'm the station master. I can get there with my eyes closed. We'll make it. Okay, so let me see if I can remember. Oh, shoot! I dropped the schematic. The silly. You hear me? It should be somewhere around All right, here. let's see if Charles, I can uh, remember that. So this isn't that. a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. So that one, How long are they going to talk one, for? I can't say that exactly. One, that one. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stove, hope this works. Moving. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. Please take your seat. We are ready to do ticket. Ten. Sorry, no ticket. Nine. Eight. This seems Seven. safe. What could go wrong? Off we go. Ugh, this tunnel's messed up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Holy crap. That was going so fast. Oh, we're going faster, too. Oh my god. It's like a carnival ride. <laughs> 